Hi, my name is Matthias and I'm one of the product specialists here at Propellerhead. Today I thought I would show you some stuff about the alligator, some stuff you might not already know. Alligator may have 64 built-in patterns, but sometimes you might want to go outside that. And luckily the alligator has some really cool tricks for triggering it. You can use both a matrix and a red drum for example, and that's what I'm going to show you. Actually I'm even going to use an alligator to trigger a red drum, so doing it the other way around. So, let's dive right in. Alligator comes with 64 built-in patterns, and they really are great. But what if that particular pattern you want isn't available? Or what if that shuffle feel you've been working so hard on in your track doesn't quite match Alligator's shuffle? Luckily we're not restricted only to the built-in patterns, so let's take a look at a few different ways we can trigger the Alligator. First I'm just gonna load up a synth patch. Something to use with the alligator. It's one of the new patches in the factory sound bank. It's a really big sawtooth pad like sound. So, to start with, I'm just gonna record a quick simple chord sequence here. Perfect for our purposes. And then I'm going to create an alligator as an insert effect. The first thing I'm going to do here is to turn off the built-in patterns. If I flip the alligator around, you'll see it has three gate inputs here on the left-hand side, one for each channel. If you want to control the alligator from other devices, this is your go-to place. Note also that next to each gate, it says what MIDI note is used to trigger the gate. F sharp 1, G sharp 1 and A sharp 1. This is very useful if you want to record a gate sequence using any MIDI controller. But like I said, I'm going to use two other devices to control the gates. I'm going to use one matrix and one red drum. Remember to hold shift when creating these and they won't auto route. Both of these devices has their own advantages when triggering alligator. Matrix allows you to tie the notes together, for example, and with Red Drum you can use one device for all three gate channels, or even use the flam function. On both devices, patterns can be exported to the sequencer track for further manipulation. So I'm going to control the first gate, the high pass gate, using the matrix gate out here. So let's connect that. And the second two gates, I'm going to take the first two channels on the Red Drum. So let's flip back around. For the matrix, I'm actually just going to randomize a pattern. It's really great if you don't have any particular pattern in mind or just want some inspiration. Just right click and randomize pattern. So this is how it sounds. Pretty good, and that was really quick. On the red drum, I'm going to program a pattern manually instead. So let's just select some notes here. If we listen back, you hear the gate is really short for the red drum, but if you quickly change gate mode here, you can set the length manually. That's better. For the second channel, I'm actually just going to randomize again. And adjust the gate length a bit. And this is what we have so far. That's pretty cool, but let's take it a bit further. I'm going to copy the red drum patterns to a sequencer track and apply a regroove patch to that track. This way I can completely control the timing and the shuffle of this sequence. So let's right click, copy pattern to track, and make sure you disable pattern section on the red drum. In the sequencer, we now have a red drum track with our MIDI data. I'm going to bring up regroove here and just open a regroove patch from the factory sound bank. Assign this track to channel A1 and listen back. Sounds really cool. So finally, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to change the resolution of the matrix pattern. An advantage to using separate devices to trigger alligator is how easy it is to set up complex polyrhythms. 
going to change the matrix pattern here to eighth note triplets. And I'm going to change it to an uneven number of steps. This makes the pattern sound much less repetitive when paired with the straight 16 note patterns from the red drum. Another thing that's really good with the alligator is that it also has gate CV outputs. What this means is that you can control other devices using the built-in patterns in the alligator. To show you how this works, I'm going to trigger three channels of a red drum I have set up here. So first, let's create an alligator. Hold shift so it does an auto route. When I flip the rack here, you see it has a CV output section with gate 1, 2 and 3. First off, I'm going to stop the pattern running on the alligator so I can route them in without it making any sounds. So let's take gate 1, connect it to the hi-hat here, gate 2 to a snare, and gate 3 to the kick drum. And if I turn the alligator on, you'll hear what happens. Pretty cool, right? So let's go through a few patterns and see if we can find something suitable. That's pretty cool. Actually, let's turn on the shuffle too. Remember, you can also automate the pattern selector and the shift knob to get some really cool variation going. Try to experiment. 